Today, I'll be changing the starter or starter motor of this 2013 Honda Accord four cylinder. You know, you're having starter problems when uh, this car would just take longer and longer to start. Um, and starter problems are different than battery problems because in battery issues, there's less power in the vehicle. With starter problems, um, you have full power in the vehicle. It's just that car takes more tries to start and um, or starter will not even engage at all when you start and go to start the car it will go click and dead and you have to go back to the on position go back and start the car and then finally it will engage recently a new problem showed up in my honda accord 2013 when i tried to start the car after it's been sitting for a few hours it just wouldn't start the starter motor wouldn't kick in the starter motor uh, would not crank it's not a battery issue like that it just goes away Sorry. turn the key back to off wait a couple seconds repeat the process So usually by the second or third try it will crank which means the starter is going out to replace it for no starter motor So on the last try, or before the last try, I removed the key. I don't know if that made any difference. So right now, the vehicle has 16,500 miles approximately. That means I gotta look for a starter motor, either get it done uh, at a repair shop or do this myself. So I called my local Honda dealer to figure out how much it's gonna cost to replace the starter. And they said the part itself is about you know, 550 to 600 dollars, and labor is 200 plus. So we're talking now about 800 to 900 dollars tax included. That's a lot of money. So I'm looking on eBay for parts and see if I can just uh, replace it myself. So I got a good deal right here, 60 dollars uh, for a used. I think the key here, what I'm looking at, is of course compatibility. So it is compatible with uh, my 2013 Accord LX sedan. So that and the donor vehicle where it's coming from has only 27,000 miles. That's important. Considering my uh, starter went bad at about 100,000 miles, 110,000 miles. So I'm looking for uh, a vehicle that does not have too many miles on it. So this looks like a good candidate, $60 and has 30 day return. Here is the starter motor. It was very well packaged. I'm very happy and surprised. Um, the, the vendor did a really nice job in packaging it uh, and it's uh, in very good condition also it has the same blue marker uh, that I saw on eBay uh, so it looks like the same part that we had listed um, so good condition there's no dings or dents on it if I turn this thing on the other side also very clean, looks clean. No, I'm just hoping it works. And I know, uh, we'll find out. Installation of the starter is simple, at least in concept. Um, there are two bolts that go over here uh, that connect the starter to the vehicle. And then there are two electric cables. It's conceptually simple. The difficulty in this thing is where it's located. It's just very hard to get to. You have to get under the vehicle. You gotta put the vehicle under jack stands. The tools I need to remove and install the starter. For these two bolts here, I need a 14 millimeter socket. Uh, for this one on top, I need a 12 millimeter. And then I need a 10 millimeter socket to remove the battery terminals. Uh, so here, in my toolbox, uh, 14 millimeter socket and 12 millimeter socket for the starter, a 10 millimeter for the battery, 
and a little bit of extension here uh, and adapter uh, for the smaller socket. And of course, a ratchet. Uh, what will also help is something like this. These are small flashlights, work light uh, that has a magnet on the back. Because I'll be working in tight spaces uh, under the vehicle, I will need extra light. And uh, this is uh, works off of a AAA battery. Or if you have a light uh, under the vehicle, uh, you will need some light under the vehicle. And we also need a good pair of jack stands. And maybe a cardboard or cloth or something uh, to put under the vehicle. completely remove it and put it on the side of the vehicle so it won't touch anything. So the starter motor is located behind the engine, actually under it and behind under the engine here. So I can't even see it. Um, so for that I need to get into the vehicle. The location of the starter motor, so starting from the front of the vehicle, so if I go here, uh, that's our transmission fluid drain plug and I keep going that's my up here up top that's the engine oil. that's the engine oil drain plug uh, in right above the drain plug when you look above that's the storm it looks very similar to the part I got so we now know what the starter looks like right so we gotta can disconnect the cable from the housing so that's that Low uh, plastic clip. Gonna move that up, and that should remove it from the metal housing. So the starter motor has two bolts. One of them is right here, right that um, that's easily uh, available to us. The other one's kind of difficult to see, difficult to get to. Uh, it's kind of snuck up there. So this bolt here, the one silver one we see, uh, that's the one uh, we are going to this guy here. So this is the one we're gonna get to. Uh, it's one of the difficult bolts uh, to access, and that's a. Uh, that's about it. These are two bolts and the two two electric connectors on the left hand side. This is one of the electric connectors uh, in the middle of the screen. This rubber boot here um, uh, is the second connector. So that this right, first so connector. I found the trick on that is to not to press on the top of it, but on the front edge of it. So right here. If I can put my finger here. So that's where you gotta press. So press here in the corner, push it down. And then uh, with my other finger, I was trying to pry it forward. It was easy, very easy to move uh, that way. So it's loosened up now. I can push the connector off, I guess with finger. And see, I can pry it off a little bit and then I'm gonna just pull that completely. Uh, so the connector is completely off, uh, just good. Now I'm gonna work on a 12 millimeter bolt. It goes over here, and this one has a rubber boot on it. So I'm gonna pull the boot up a little bit and then do a 12 millimeter uh, socket. The 12 millimeter bolt, uh, and that's gonna be here in the middle of the screen where you see the boot peel peeled up you see the little grab tab at the base of the boot so I couldn't see uh, see it I just felt it with my fingers and uh, uh, put a hold on it and then pull that so the boot just got back uh, over the bolt so anyway now you can probably see it better what I was talking about so that actually helps to pull the boot up so open the 12 millimeter bolt uh, now I, I can just easily use my hands to unscrew it from the uh, from its location. So it's 
tiny space to show any more than that. So, all right. Take this off. Awesome. I'll show you kind of here's the balls on top. So, okay. That should free up <coughs> the electric cable that's connected on it. So, let me see. It's a, yeah. Freeze up the electric cable. So now I can unscrew the other bolts uh, holding the starter to um, uh, to the vehicle and remove the starter. So that's the location of the other bolt, uh, the 14 millimeter. So I put my uh, socket wrench on that and try to open it. Got my wrench in place um, and let's see. It's kind of tight. All right. <clears throat> okay, I think it's open now. Let's see. Yeah. Just loose enough that I can rotate it uh, with my hands. All right. I'll work on the other bolt. See if I can open this one. All right. So this thing was really tight. So I had to put my both hands on it. And good thing I only had to pull it down. So this has some loosening. This one in the storage is coming loose. So you can see that. So as I'm Working on the ratchet. And put the camera down and hold the starter with one hand while I'm removing this. So finally removed the lower bolt and the starter is now free. I just gotta remove that and pry it away from, uh, just have to, just have to remove it from here and make sure that I don't cut any of these cables by mistake. So. Put the camera down and we'll work on that. Here is the starter I removed from the vehicle uh, from my Honda Accord, and that's the part details here. And the one above here is the one I got in the mail, so that's the one I'll be installing now. So uh, the installation is just the uh, reverse of the removal and follow the same process. Put the bolts in first and then connect the cables. Alright. Alright, so time to install the replacement starter. So I gotta, the space over here, there's a little bit of snack, so I gotta turn the starter a little bit, wiggle its way into the area. And I'll start with connecting the lower bolt. Considering I can actually see the lower bolt. And go from there. Got the starter in place, uh, tightening the first bolt. It took a little bit of wiggling. I believe the uh, grooves inside the starter have to align with the uh, engine grooves inside. So it took a little bit of wiggling to get here uh, to actually put the starter in, uh, in its uh, location. So now I'm just tightening the bolt, the lower one first. So put the top bolt in. Surprisingly, did not take too long. Uh, there is no way, of course, uh, anybody can see where the bolt is going. You just have to put the bolt over there and try to find its spot approximate nowhere it was uh, when we removed it. And basically that, I, you know, I didn't have to try. So it's uh, there, and now I'm going to tighten it. Yeah, make sure that uh, the top bolt is tight. Put the camera down. Oh, that's pretty good. Tight. So now time to connect the cable. We're gonna start with uh, the one with the boot on, cause that's the most difficult to get to. So we're gonna connect that. So that's the uh, cable that had a boot on. So pull the boot up, turned the, rotated the boot a little bit actually. So that was the little trick. So now the boot stays out of the way and uh, 
put that connector uh, on that screw and I'll put the bolt back on now. I can't see anything. Uh, you know, you just have to feel it with your fingers and maybe use your phone or your camera uh, to see, uh, you know, if the cable is there. Just so, feel okay. the location with your finger and uh, put the net uh, back on the connector. So the casing, the housing of the connector is plastic, so we don't want to tighten this too much because we don't want to break the plastic. Just enough snug fit. All right, so next step is to connect the other cable. So this one, second one laying down here. So we're gonna connect that back on this connector. Uh, should be easy to snap on. So let's see if we can. Okay, and if I could just slide that on here. So we're just going to go and push that in a little bit. Love that click sound. Good one. And now the housing goes and connects it here on this connector. All right, so this slides on the metal thing here. And should hit a click sound. I think this is in place. All right, so we're gonna tighten the battery terminals. Uh, just enough snug tight, not too much. That's good. Now the other side. Okay. All right, so there's one way to find out if it works. Moment of truth. Awesome. Love the sound of car starting. It works. Uh, don't know how long the star is going to last, but uh, for now it's working. Uh, happy. Thanks for watching.